Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to this wonderful historic day. My name is Kristen Hill. I am a middle school teacher from Norfolk Public Schools. Uh, I teach at the Academy for Discovery at Lakewood. And in addition to my regular teaching responsibilities, I'm also the dance director of this wonderful group of students, the ADL Dance Company. And we, um, <laughs> we started this journey Really, it started with a Facebook message to the Bray School Lab. I said, I read about the Bray School in Trend and Tradition magazine, and I want to create a dance about the Bray School story. And thank the Lord, the Bray School Lab people said, yes, that sounds interesting. Let's do it. And so that started over a year ago. And now I would like to have um, our fabulous ADL dancer, Finn McElvain, tell you the rest. Thank you all so much for coming. My name is Finn and this is my third year with the This is my third year with the ADL Dance Company. We're so proud to show you the encore performance of our piece, The Williamsburg Bray School, a story worth telling. We've been working on this project for over a year now and it's made a big impact on me and the other dancers. We first first heard about the Bray School last fall. Madam Hill shared an article with us about how the building was discovered hiding in plain sight. We were interested in both the dendrochronology and the stories of the scholars. The more we learned, the more complicated it became. We are very grateful to the William and Mary Office of Strategic Cultural Partnerships and the Brace School Lab. We went on a field trip last October that had a tour of the William and Mary campus, including the Wren Building, Hearth, a memorial to the enslaved, and the Brace School site. We also got a chance to ask questions of the experts, which helped us in deciding how to tell this story. William and Mary have been working very closely with us. They attended our preview performance last fall and our finale performance last spring. They also invite us to perform here today. In addition to all of this, they provided us with lots of helpful information about the genealogy and descendants of the Bray School scholars. We would like to dedicate this performance to the Bray School descendant community. Thank you again for coming out and enjoy the show. Bray School. On the outside, I am a modest tenement building. Do you remember me? We are the associates of Dr. Bray. It is our mission to educate black children, but our purpose is complicated. Do you agree with us? I am the Williamsburg Bray School. For 14 years, I witnessed almost 400 children, most enslaved, some free, learning to read. Do you value me? I am Ann Wager. I was the only teacher that the Bray School ever had. When I died, no one took my place. I love my students. I taught them to read and to be good slaves. Do you understand me? I was the Williamsburg Bray School. Over the years, I served other purposes and my appearance changed. Do you see me? I have deep roots here, and I know that my family has ties to the Bray School, but I don't know if I can prove it. Will you help me? I was the Williamsburg Bray School. Look closely. I am still here. And I want to tell my story. Are you paying attention? Our teacher, Miss Wager, says we have to be clean and neat in our clothes. 
Grace School scholars learn to read so we can learn about Christianity. We learn about the Bible so we can learn to be more obedient. We have to start at the beginning. We have to learn our letters. Isaac B. I am a Bray School Scholar. Bray School when I was seven years old. 
and 21 years later, I'm showing up on her tax list. Do I have siblings? Right now it's hard to tell. The records don't show what happened to me. My name is Molly. There are different documents that can be used to find me, such as William Prentice's will and records of my baptism at Bruton Parish Church. This could help my great-grandchildren, if I have any, to find me. Hi, I'm Rachel. I got sent to the play school with my sister Nancy in 1769. I lived with my siblings and my mother at the Place in 1772. Eleven years later, my siblings and I are at a different Hornsby's household, but my mother's name is nowhere to be found on the tax list. My name is Nancy, and I went to the Bray School with my sister Rachel. I'm seeing an inventory of Thomas Hornsby's estate, but eleven years later, I'm on Joseph Hornsby's tax list. Was I left to someone else in the will? What happened to him? What happened to all of us? I was only seven when I went to the Bray School. Nobody remembers my last name probably because I'm free. I don't show up in anyone's wills or taxes. I'm just me. Hi, I am Nathan and my mom, Aggie, was a Bray School star. One of my sisters named their child Nathan. I wonder if that will continue and there will be that show up in the records. My name is Sylvia and I was owned by William Waters. I was a student at the Bray School in 1765 and my mother's name was Marcia and I also had a sibling named Fancy. I don't know if I was baptized and I don't know what happened to my mother and sister. My name is Isaac B. I was enslaved at the Blair household, but I escaped. 19 years later, I escaped again from the Little Page household. The first runaway slave announcement said I could read. The second said I could read and write. And get this, the reward for me was $10, but the reward for the horse was 20. I have a son named John B. What happened to him? Did he have children too? Did I ever see him again? The advertisement about me says that I think I have the right to freedom because my father was a free man. But I do. Everyone has the right to freedom. My name is Fanny. I was enslaved by the College of William and Mary. My mother might be a lady named Charlotte who was also enslaved by the college. I might have been one of the youngest Bray School scholars. I wonder why the college doesn't know more about me. Maybe it's up to the current students of William and Mary to find out more about me. Yes, it's 
And what seemed to be 